Did you know that everything you do online leaves a trail of personal information behind? Your photos? Tagged. What you read or watch? Logged. Your searches? Saved. And your friend lists? Collected. Ever wonder why? Or what can happen to all that personal info when you log off? You might think your photos, search histories, and friend lists are worthless to anyone but you, but you're so wrong. Companies collect info about who you are, where you go, what you do, and who you know, because it's very valuable. Companies use this online trail to build a detailed profile of you. It's a great way to send you ads they think you'll like or sell your info to other companies. But have any idea what's in your profile, where it goes, or how it could be used or abused? Because it's not just companies that like to get their hands on your info. The government wants it too. They buy it from data brokers. Or take advantage of very outdated privacy laws to demand it with a subpoena that a judge has never seen. Sometimes they just ask nicely and companies give it to them. They don't need any proof that you've done anything wrong. They can just scoop up your info now and sort it all out later. And what happens when the government sorts it all out? Kids end up on the no-fly list. Political groups get infiltrated. Driver's licenses, loans, and jobs are unfairly denied. And what about the online trail you leave behind every day? How could info about you, where you go, what you do, or who you know, get used or abused? No one should make you choose between using cool new sites and keeping your private information safe from a snooping government. It's time to take back control of your personal information. Demand a privacy upgrade. Demand your dot rights.